Worms, beetles, moss, nobody wants to find these critters, especially when it comes to your food. In fact, one of our producers right now has a cupboard that's infested. After the segment, you're gonna run home if you're in the audience or if you're at home, you're gonna check your own cupboard. Now we have some tips and tricks to avoid these pantry pests. We're joined by professional exterminator Nick Isaac. Now, this segment, Nick, really did sprout from one of our producers, opened up the cupboard and noticed pests in their food. Now, what, what is the most common pest we need to look out for? Uh, the most common pest you need to look out for is the pantry pest or the pantry moth, which is the Indian meal moth. Okay. Um, you'll find them in, th in three different stages, the cocoon, the caterpillar, as well as the moth. Okay, now, now let me ask you this. One time I had some flour that I hadn't really used. I right. keep it. I used to keep it in a little bag like that and right. opened it up and there were these little maggot looking things. So right. is, that, is that the caterpillar Those phase? Those maggots were actually the caterpillars. Here's a few caterpillars and moths in this jar of rice That's right exactly here. what they look like! Well, what they... So they're all di at different stages then? Yes, it's different stages. So when you see the moths, you've already had the caterpillars and the <laughs> eggs in your food. Which means that rice you had last night? So when you see the moths, the moths don't actually eat the rice. The moths are just there to breed. They breed, have sex, and and multiply. Exactly. And, and, then, and then these guys. I so mean, this how, how do they get there? Like, is this because we're not cleaning the cabinets properly? No, like, it has nothing to do with that. What happens is, is you bring the moths home from the grocery store. When they refine your grains, your cereals, your nuts. They don't get all the eggs and all the larval out of the products. Oh. So when you get home, once it hits that temperature, once they get in that part of the life cycle, they hatch. So, so they're hanging out sometimes in your food when you exactly, bring it home. Exactly. Now, they're not an outside pest. They don't come from outside to come into your house. You bring them into your so house. So those yourself. eggs are hanging out in your rice. Exactly. They're getting the right temp. Exactly. And they just start, they, then they become the, the, the caterpillar, then they become the moth. Now. So if we're lucky, we just eat the eggs instead if you're lucky, of the larvae. If you're, if you're lucky. <laughs> well, what I'm freaking out about is, because I am running, not walking home after this. <laughs> because these are the kinds of items I have in the upper part of the cupboard that I only rarely look at. And they look just like rice. Yeah. Well, you know, what yeah. happens is, is they, the color of what they eat is the color that they're going to be. So if it's brown rice, they're going to be brown caterpillars. <laughs> oh, great. When you go, when you get home, when you get home Starting and you itch. open a bag of rice, you put that bag of rice back in the cabinet with just a clip on it, that's just begging for trouble. Wait a minute, we all have the clips. So what do we do? What do we do, Nick? What you do is when you go home and you open up your flour, you use your flour, you want to put it in an airtight container. So when you open it, you want to either put it in the fridge because they won't hatch, the life cycle won't start if they're in there under cold temperatures. Okay. Or if you open it and you just got to put it in the cabinet, you need to put it in a Ziploc bag. God forbid. So like they, these bags so here. So God forbid we haven't been doing this. Right. <laughs> and I go home tonight and I open up the cupboard and I have this. What do I do? Okay, so what you do is if you have this, you, this is sealed. You have it quarantined so you know exactly where it is. You want to seal everything else to make sure that it doesn't get into anything, any other of your products. Also, what you want to do is you want to take everything out of your cabinets, wipe your cabinets down. If you continue to see the moss, the best thing to do after a week or two is to call a licensed professional so that they can come by and spray and treat for your uh, problem. So when I found mine, I threw everything out. Oh, that don't do that. that. Don't throw like, everything I'm throwing out. it all out, no. That's the first reaction. Okay. You don't want to throw it out. What you want to do is you want to try to find where the source is. So you want to bag everything up, seal everything. I see. Try to figure out where they are. It'll save you some money as well as you don't have, you'll be able to keep your stuff. Now, do, if you, can you just wash this out and reuse this? Or yes. do you get rid of this No, last don't two? get rid of your containers See, at I all. See, I get rid of everything. You can wash <laughs> okay, them, okay. reuse them. If you do throw something away, make sure that you throw it away on the exterior of your home, right. in the dumpster on the outside of the house. I actually take it, Ooh. and then I put it in the cupboards of the people who don't pick up their dog poop. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, these are great tips. Yeah. Thank you. And like Nick said, if you have an infestation you can't get rid of, call a professional like Nick so that they can take care of the problem.